Hi guys, Offer here with another Bow Genius project. Today we will be making a large Halloween bow. We are using nine different Halloween type patterns in a variety of widths and colors. Each ribbon measures approximately 10 feet. I'm starting with some geomesh, which is 10 inches wide. This will give the bow a dramatic fullness while giving stability. Twist the geomesh through the spring-loaded center and at the 8-inch mark make one loop on either side for a total of two loops. We're going to make this bow in three layers. We're starting here with the bottom layer. Next, select your coordinating ribbon and make a total of four 8-inch loops, two on either side. Gather your ribbon and then twist to secure your bow. Next, we'll make the second or middle layer, repeating the same process you did earlier with eight inch loops. For this bow, I created a total of four loops for the wider ribbons and six for the narrows to give my bow some variety. Do what works for you. You may want to add more loops to a certain ribbon or take your favorite pattern and use it repeatedly throughout the bow. I am making this bow to put onto my lamppost as a fun Halloween decoration, but this bow configuration can be used for any occasion like birthday or bridal. Just select your color theme and adornments to create your own look. In this layer, we use three ribbons. Then gather and secure your bow. Next, we'll make our third and top layer of the bow. We're using four ribbons to complete this layer. We decided to gradually decrease our loop length to five inches and four inches. Gather your ribbon and secure with wire. To assemble the bow, take your top bow and wire it through the center of your middle bow and twist in place. Then secure your combined bow to the bottom layer. If you've seen our most recent Homecoming Mom episode, the steps are very similar to the bow I'm making right now. I added some sparkled tree branches and some Halloween icons to create a spooky look. Halloween 
Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. I've always loved trick-or-treating at all of the spooky houses, and I think that's why this is probably one of my favorite bows we've created so far. Now that we have our bow on our lamppost, we cut our tails, added a skull to the center of the bow, and added additional ribbons to the post. Then we added our spooky ribbon spiders, which we easily made on the Bow Genius. See our ribbon spider tutorial to learn how to make your own. And remember, all of your Halloween projects will be easy with Bow Genius.